tropical and frightening. I like it. The weather says strong wind gusts between 50 and 40, 45 and 55 miles an hour. Uh oh. Yeah. Breakfast for dinner. Uh, what an exciting rainy night we have right now. Uh, what do you guys do on rainy nights that doesn't involve like TV or playing on the computer or playing video games or anything like that? I want to do something not sitting down because as you guys know, I have this hand thing that makes me have high energy. Uh, maybe if I use the other hand, like to, ooh, this feels strange. Left-handed vlogging is weird. And then I can do this. That's this hand is move, and then this hand's move is here. It, yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys do on rainy days? Hey guys, look, it's Jen. She hasn't been here in like 10 years. Hey, She's everybody. been working for so long. Oh yeah, somebody said, uh, when you said, Bye, bye everybody. When you were leaving the party, they said, bye Dr. Jen. And then I responded, call 1-800-DOCTORB. The B is for bargain. Yeah, look at how fancy you look. Man, what are you doing? I'm going to the ice bar. Yeah. Uh-oh. <coughs> if you guys don't know what the ice bar is, it is a bar made out of ice. <laughs> it's on the interwebs. It's yeah. Ice Bar Orlando. Dot com. Dot com! I did a, a motion without facing the camera at me. I was like, how come Jen isn't showing anything that I'm doing? Yeah. It works. But you get, like, parkas, and the bar is made out of ice, and there's ice sculptures everywhere, and then they give you shot glasses or drink glasses that are made out of ice, but you can only stay in, like, the ice part for, like, 30 minutes, and then you go into the fire lounge, where there's, like... 900 fireplaces to warm you up because we need fireplaces in Florida. You probably just go outside for a second. You're like, oh, it's warm out here. No, I'm good. Yeah, good to go. We have a fireplace. Back into the ice. Yeah, and how often do we use it? <laughs> and the good news with Jen going to the ice bar, she's not going to take this camera. She's going to take her camera, so it won't be in HD, but it'll still be neat. She's going to film some. It won't be in tonight. It'll be in tomorrow is because she's not going to get home until late, and then you guys will be like, Where's the vlog? And I'll be like, It's not my fault! So we'll just put it in tomorrow. See how this weather's doing. What the heck? It's like a bright, sunshiny day now. Man. It, it literally was raining, like, ten minutes ago. Yeah, see, look. There's the storm over... Oh, you can't see it because of the white balance. Stupid white balance. But it's like a brilliant day outside now. Are you... All ready for ladies' night? Arr, I'm the, I'm the weed hunter. What? Yeah, that see? doesn't have anything to do with ladies' night. Look, look. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're doing, but why are you doing it before ladies' night? Because I'm, this is crazy. You're crazy for picking weeds before ladies' night. <laughs> ladies' night. Well, now that all the girls have left for ladies' night, it's just you and me, guys. We're here by ourselves. But I think because it rained today, um, I think the sunset's gonna be nice. So I'm gonna go check it out at the park that I go to that is close by and uh, is very easy to get to and there will always be a sunset, a good view of the sunset there. But there's a lot of clouds. Ah, I like sunsets. Let's go. I'll tell you guys what, this is Florida in a nutshell. Like it was literally raining, I don't know, what, now a half an hour ago? And it's like clear as day. Well, clear as evening, at least. Except for all these clouds off to the side. I'm like showing you guys yourselves. You guys see all those clouds? Look at them all. They're amazing. <laughs> I just saw a sign on the side of the road that said ammo for sale. This way. All right. We're in the right direction. Oh man, does it feel so much better today than it did yesterday. Oh, it feels great out here. Now normally I would just keep walking around this place and keep walking around, but it is so nice out tonight. I think I'm gonna have a seat and look out over the lake. So there was this lady over there doing a photo shoot and she was wearing like all almost like 80s stuff like a high-waisted skirt and like a, a, some sort of brawl-like bustier and like this giant hat. It, is that like what's coming back into style now? Well that whole sitting still thing didn't last very long. <laughs> look what I found. Turtles! There are a lot of gigantic fish in this lake too, but I can't show them to you because I'd have to put the glasses on the lenses. 
it just doesn't work very good. And I can, you know, have to stare at the water for minutes. Oh, look, the ducks are coming up to me. Uh-oh. It's like playing chicken with ducks. Does that even work, chicken with ducks? Whoa. And I thought that other park was Duck Central. Look at them all. Ooh, I kind of forgot my enthusiasm for a second there. Look at all these ducks. I am the duck whisperer. Come to me, ducks. Come. Quack with me. Let's be duck friends. Is it not weird to anybody else that I'm like being overridden by ducks right now? There are so many of them, it's not even, look, they're fighting over me. They all want to be my new duck friends. Look at all their crazy little footprints everywhere, too. Do you guys feel like you were immensed with the ducks? You're one of the, of the, what do you call a group of ducks? Ow! That thing's sticking up. Uh, watch where you're walking. I feel like they're just circling around to surround me. Whoa. We call this a snake bird. And a hinga. You know why we call it a snake bird? Because it looks like a snake when it's swimming through the water. Because only its head comes out of the water. Mrrr, snake. I'm totally creeping on these ducks right now. Oh no. All of the ducks have been lured away to people who have sun chips. Because everybody knows that ducks love sun chips in Subway. My favorite part about this park is it's like 60s night out here and they're playing all 60s songs. It's great. Or late 50s. Not quite 60s. Late 50s. I'll go with that one. Ooh, I found a secret spot in this park. Take for instance, we were just listening to Busted by Ray Charles. Seems like the heat's starting to come back. I don't like that so much. There are two things that I will always film that I like a lot. One, sunsets. Two, little baby ducks. Okay, so three things. Turtles, too. Ooh, it's getting close to sunset time. All right. Oh, can't turn the camera off. Here's something that I didn't know. Apparently there's a choreographed fountain show over here. I'm here for the choreographed fountain. Oh man, look at this. They apologize for the inconvenience. Son of a biscuit. It's unchoreographed. All of my hopes and dreams have been dashed. This is another one of those spots that you don't want to stand. Maybe I can rig up something to make the choreographed fountain work here. I think I just passed a group of people where the girl was complaining about walking because she was wearing heels. And the guy's like, no, we're not here to walk, man. We're here to see the sights. It's a beautiful place. And I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. Because it is beautiful. But <laughs> boy, was she complaining. Something seems like it does not fit in here. Can you guys spot it? Man, a few extra clouds rolled in and ruined my sunset. I keep trying to like video conference people in on my iPhone so that they can see this sunset. And I guess everybody is showing everybody else in the world the sunset because it is over capacity. Too many people are knocking. Interesting fact, I know how to drive both of these. Should we take them for a spin? There's like a guy having like a makeshift church over here where he's like preaching to a whole group of people just in the bleachers here. And uh, it's kind of bizarre to me, just a little bit. You guys see them all up there? Here, let me stand still for a second so I don't move around so much. I can't remember where I parked. But that guy is getting really excited. Darn it. I can't get the white balance to correct enough so that you guys can see how red it is on the horizon. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and tweet it. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter, follow me because I take a lot of pictures and put them out there. Holy cow! I did not know that I have a digital zoom on my phone now. I thought that that was only on the iPhone 4. There we go. Now you can see how red it is. Look at how ridiculous that is. So awesome looking. Awesome! It's amazing! Sorry. I'm gonna do a funny joy. Sometimes you just have to do a funny voice. No, I know I've been doing really good and eating what I'm supposed to, but I think there might be an ice cream store really close by. I just can't help myself. I took out my phone to try to search and find out where the ice cream store was and then my homing beacon inside my head turned on and was like, it's over here, and then I found it. <laughs> I win. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm in love. Oh, no. I may have ordered too much ice cream. Ah. Oh, I'm getting full. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten that ice cream. What was I thinking? Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price for eating ice cream. <sighs> no willpower. At least when it comes to ice cream. Oh, and while I'm at it, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, that'd be awesome. But also, 
There's a Facebook fan page down here in the, the, the what does everybody call this thing? The doobly-doo, the pants bar, the sub bar, whatever you want to call it. But down here, and if you guys have ever wondered what my little catchphrase at the end, and now it's time to pay the price, I might just post it on Facebook tonight. Maybe. It, yeah, I'll do it. Still might be cryptic, though.